I end her up? No, just about done. Hey, how's that pretty gal of yours? Melinda's not so well, Paul. Not so well at all. No headaches? Got laid up with another one yesterday. Voiced one yet. I'll be taking over to Vicksburg next day or so for some tests. Head x-rays and who knows what else. She is scared to death. Truth to tell, so am I. But it's something they can see on the x-ray. Maybe it's something they can fix. Maybe. This just came in. DOE on Vitterbuck. You didn't come all the way down here just to hand me a DOE. I had an angry call from the state capitol about 20 minutes ago. Is it true you ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. Now, I'm sure you had reason, Paul, but like it or not, the wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew, and his name happens to be Percy Whitmore. Little Percy calls his aunt and squeals like a schoolroom sissy. He also mentioned he assaulted a prisoner this morning out of sheer petulance. Broke three fingers in Edward Delacroix's left hand. I didn't hear that part. I'm sure she didn't either. The man is mean and careless and stupid, and that's a bad combination in a place like this. Sooner or later, he's gonna get somebody hurt or worse. Stick with it, Paul. May not be much longer. I have it on good authority that Percy has an application in a Briar Ridge. Briar Ridge? The mental hospital. Administration job. Better pay. Hmm. Then why is he still here? You can get that application pushed through. Hell, with his connections, he could have any state job he wants. You know what I think. I think he just wants to see one cook up close. Well, he'll get his chance then, won't he? Maybe then he'll be satisfied and move on. In the meantime, you'll keep the peace? Of course. Of course. 